guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know, I wanted to reintroduce you to our black widow. Her name is Morticia, and I'm just so amazed by this animal because she's still alive, quite frankly. Black widows live about one to three years in the wild. We've had her for about a year and a half at the zoo, and she came to us as an adult, so we don't really know how old she is, but she's doing really well, and she has just been growing, and you can see just how beautiful she is. Now, black widow, we of course always hear black widow, and the first thing you probably think think about is deadly spider. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a myth. Now, it doesn't mean that they can't kill a person. They certainly can, but there's a myth out there that their venom is 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. That's just not true. If the typical person, you or I, were to be bit by a black widow, it's going to be sore. We might be a little sick to the belly. We might have some muscle aches, but unless you're a baby, 110 years old, or you have a compromised immune system, meaning you're really sick, that's really the only time you gotta worry. Other than that, they're just not gonna do much to you. However, if you're a bug or an insect, then you gotta worry because that is what that venom is built to do is kill or immobilize an insect. So you can see she's got this incredible web that she's built in this entire habitat here, and that's exactly what they do. And they'll use that web for two purposes. One is to, of course, snare their prey. So like I said, an insect, of course, is gonna come by and it's gonna get stuck in that web, and then what's gonna happen is that black widow's gonna go over, inject venom, it's gonna immobilize that insect, and then as I've told you before, the insides are gonna turn into mush, and then she'll suck out that fluid, and that's how she eats. That's so cool to me. But the other reason they use that web is to hang their eggs. She will actually build a cocoon and inside of that cocoon will be several hundred eggs that will eventually hatch into spiderlings. Pretty amazing. Now the black widow is actually found really all over the world. They're found in temperate regions. Now what that means is those are the regions between the tropics and the polar caps on both sides of the globe. And here in the U.S., believe it or not, black widows are actually found in every state except Alaska. So if you're watching from Alaska, you don't have to worry about them, but if you're watching anywhere else, you got them somewhere near you. The biggest thing that I always tell people is in the springtime, that's when you want to watch out. Check your shoes, check old laundry. Uh, if you have towels that you haven't used in a while in the garage, check those because these guys like to hide in those areas during the wintertime. In the springtime, you put on a shoe, you might get one inside that shoe. But again, if you get bit, it's not a death sentence. Don't worry too much about that. But still, you want to be mindful of where they are at. And finally, of course, you see that red hourglass. That's, of course, female. Males, much smaller. They're brown in color. And by the way, the females do like to eat the males. And that's where they get the name Black Widow. Until next time, guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana with Morticia, our Black Widow Spider.